Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to start adding some basic code in your dress-up game and making stuff happen. And this code will be in Action Script 3. So what you want to do is go to your Publish Settings. Um, here on the right, or I think it's also somewhere under File Publish Settings. And make sure here or down here that you have Action Script 3. I'm in Flash CC and it won't let you do anything else, um, but if you have some older version of Flash it might let you do Action Script 2. Okay, so we go to our timeline just to see where we are. Cool, we're just on the basic most level. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a person There she is. Okay, now I'm going to select her, all of her, and you can press F8 or go right click, convert to symbol. Sorry, it might just be off screen. And I'm going to convert her to a movie clip, and I am going to call her my girl. Let me put registration point top left. Okay. So here she is. I'm going to go to properties and the instance name. I'm going to give her name and I'll call her uh, girl. And on the timeline, I'll layer my I'll name my layer girl as well just so I can see at a glance what I'm doing, what I'm looking at. Okay. Now I'm going to double click on her, which zooms me into the world of my girl. I'm going to create a new layer. Lock the layer that she is on. Maybe I'll just layer name this layer girl too uh, so I can see at a glance. And on this layer up here I'm going to make a shirt. I'll make a dress. Okay, so I'll um... Sure, why not? I'll draw a dress. Oh, so beautiful. Fill it in. Great. Again, right click convert to symbol. Sorry, it's off screen again. I'll call this uh, dress. Movie clip. Great. And I will go to properties, give this an instance name. Dress. And um, I'm doing a lot of naming, but when I create the movie clip, that determines their name in the library. When I name the layer, that's totally just for me. Um, when I click on something and choose its instance name, that's the important part because that's what the code will be talking to. It's that instance name. Okay, so we got a girl in her dress, but so far there's nothing to do because she's just in a dress. So I'll double click on the dress. Now I'm inside the world of the dress, which is inside the world of the girl. And okay. Name this layer dresses. On frame one I have the yellow dress. On frame two I'm going to right click insert blank keyframe and I'm going to draw a different dress. Oh, not that I'll blend too much with her skin. Maybe purple. Okay. This one will be a little different. Fill it in. Maybe I'll do a third one. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. Right click, insert blank keyframe. Over It overrides whatever I just did there. Uh, maybe uh, we'll do this kind of fuchsia. This one will be a little more funky. Okay, great. Um, now if I click Control enter and see what's happening... <coughs> oh my gosh, it's a seizure-inducing kind of uh, party. Why? Uh, because Flash automatically will play from one frame to the next. Uh, this is great for animations. This is horrible for dress-up games. So we're going to click New Layer down here. I'm going to call this... Uh, you can call it the actions layer, so I just, I've seen the method to just put an A because I'm lazy, that appealed to me. And I'm going to click on the first frame there, and I have my actions options. I like to sort of shove them right at the top to cover my menu, and then I open it as I need. And I'm going to type STOP, left bracket, right bracket, semicolon, stop. Um, I'm guessing you just want to learn how to make these games and not too much into the philosophy of why there's brackets, so I won't get into that. Plus, I'm not the best at explaining it anyway. So now test, control enter. Oh yay, cool! 
it stopped on the very first frame on the yellow dress so now I can put my pills away um, but now how do we make it go to the other two frames okay so we'll get out of the dress double click get out of the girl and I'll put a new frame uh, the layer and I'll call this one my menu actually but I avoid using the word menu because menu is a word that flash means something to flash in its language so you get a lot of errors so I like to put panels instead let me put that below I'll lock my grill layer just so I don't break it okay and so I'll make another movie clip here Maybe I'll make a little pastel pink menu I'm going to go to my info, make it exactly 300 by 400, place it at 300 and 0, so it takes up exactly half the screen. Uh, create this into a symbol, right click, uh, movie clip, panels, and I'm going to put the registration point top middle, because then I can, everything that goes inside it will be in reference to this point, and if I put in the middle then I can line up all my buttons relative to the middle. Uh, we don't really have to. We can call this panels and go inside. This is way too bright. Okay. Uh, call this layer background. Lock it. New layer. We'll put our buttons here. Okay. So we'll make some buttons. Okay, uh, right click, convert to symbol. Now we're going to make a button. Registration point in the middle. Button one. Same thing. Button two. Same thing. Button three. Okay, now we'll give them all instance names. Button three. Button two. Oh, great! They're cutting grass outside. Button one. Great. And now we're gonna go make a new layer, another actions layer inside here. So we have an actions layer inside the shirt, and we have an actions layer inside <coughs> our panels. Open up actions. Now, type this out just as I say it. I still have to look somewhere and type this out. I don't type it from memory. Uh, but we're going to say button one. Referencing, we're talking to their button. Dot add event listener, and you have to type it out exactly like that with the smaller case A and then a uppercase E and L. Um, bracket, capital mouse, capital event, dot click. Um, so we're telling button one that we're adding an event listener, meaning the game will wait and listen for an event, well pretty much like it implies. This is basically how we allow it to do stuff, is tell it, oh, wait and listen for a mouse click, and then do the following. And we have to, the job we're going to give it upon the mouse click has to have a name, so, but it can't be the same name as the button. Uh, just trust me on this, all I do is I'll take the name of the button, and then I add the words click and then close that bracket and then open curly bracket oh no sorry sorry no no <laughs> not yet um, semicolon next line the right function button one click um, so this line we told it hey button one listen for the button one click event and here we're gonna define what in the world the button one click event is uh, button one click e Mouse event void ah. open curly brackets close curly brackets okay so what do we want to happen when you click on button one well wait first I'll just set this up for the others too as well on button two when you click on button two perform button two click and when you click on button 3, perform this function called button 3 click. Function kind of sounds fancy, but it just means a job that we're given the program to do. So, we want to tell the shirt 
the dress to go to three different frames depending on which button we click. So what do we do? We say, okay, dress dot go to and well, let's start here. Dress dot go to and stop two. And why it's the T's lowercase where everything else is in camel case is how they call this. I don't know. Don't ask me. So we test that, but it throws up an error. Why? Because it doesn't know where dress is. It's looking for the dress in the menu and it's not here. So we have to tell it how to get to the dress. So we say this dot parent, which means zoom out of the panels menu, dot girl, dot dress. Right, okay guys, I just remembered. I don't really know how or why, but make sure you turn off these two things because they will drive you crazy. If you want to be a pro proper programmer, find out what they are and why. I don't, I just want things to work. Okay, now. Yay! These buttons don't do anything yet, but this one made it go to frame two. Um, so you can do the same thing for the other two. This dot parent dot girl dot dress dot go to and stop three. This dot parent dot girl dot dress dot go to and stop one. Control enter to test. Yay, it works. So you can see that right there gives you a huge building block for uh, making stuff happen right off the bat. Thank you very much.